Shalom Ubracha, everyone. Welcome back to the VHP. Welcome back to a new Zman, a new section of Hilchos Brachos. Here we go with a very, very Lemaisa share. We'll get to a lot of Allah Lemaisa today. But I want to start with the following Shaila that for some perhaps is Maisim Bechalyom. Perhaps for others it's less often, but similar Shailas definitely do come up in people's day. And therefore we have to get to the bottom of the line. And that is, let's say, Lel Shavuos. Someone is going to have a cup of coffee, you know, he's going to have another cup of coffee, another cup of coffee, he's going to have a snack, another snack, another snack throughout the night. When does he make a bracha rishona? When does he make a bracha achrona? Is just one bracha rishona for the beginning of the night, one bracha achrona at the end of the night, or numerous bracha rishonas and achronas would have to come into play. Similarly, someone who has a water bottle, someone who has a water bottle and drinks throughout the day in his office or in the base medrash, wherever he might be, how many bracha rishonas and achronas does he make during the day? To answer this question, we need a lot of information. And along the lines, we're going to get to a lot of a very important nekudas, Allah Chalabaisa, in Hilchos Brachos. Let's start with page 3 of our Mar Makamas, that Peivav, Amun Beis, in Meseches Kulin, says the Gemara Vur, the Bruna Rav Hananel, Tamiri de Rav Avi Yasli Besud Asa. Kaim Alai Rav Yabba Saba, Rav Yabba Saba comes and joins Rav Bruna and Rav Hananel. They say to him, They say, let's bench now. Time to bench. No, let's maybe not bench, let's drink a little bit more. Says the Gemara, This is what Rav tells us about his case, where you said, in the middle of the surah, the middle of the eating session. Once he is Mesiach Das, from the Surah by saying, Havlanu Nivarech, that ends the eating session, and therefore he cannot make, he cannot continue eating. As Rashi points out, he doesn't have to make a bracha at this point, but as Rashi points out, until he makes a new bracha rishona, the hesach adas over here is going that the bracha rishona that he originally made in the Surah ends, and he's going to require a new bracha rishona. That's what we learned from over here. A din of hesach hadas ends your bracha rishona eating session. And similarly, back to page two of our Mar Makamos, Daf Kuv Zayin tells us the same thing indirectly. Legabi Hashamish in Asuda. Says the Gemara over here. Third line in the highlighted part, via Hashamish Mivarich Al Kol Kos Vekos. Hashamish is Mishamish of the people in Asuda. He is going to have to make a bracha rishona on every kos of yayin he drinks. Why? Says Rashi over here. Dibar Masla shamish mevarich al kol kos vegos. Lefi she'ein kevel shtia. There is no kvias for the shamish's shtia. Hashamish she'ein yodea im yisnelo od. He doesn't know if he's going to get another cup or not. Hilkach osach daite min shtia. Every cup of wine he's may siach das. He does not think that he's necessarily going to get another cup. He's may siach das from it, and therefore he gets a second cup, new bracha rishona. Third cup, new bracha rishona. Every coast of wine he has to make a new bracha rishona. Which is really the same klal, peivav mubeiz, kubzayin mubeiz, is telling us the same klal over here, that one, when one is may siach das from his eating session, it ends his original bracha rishona. If he wants to continue eating or drinking, he's going to require a new bracha rishona. Just kuzayin mubeiz is an added chiddush. On daf pavvei peivavu mubeiz, he actually did meisiach das b'dibur. Have lanu nevarich over here and kuvavu kuzayin mubeiz. There's like an intrinsic understanding in his mind that he's meisiach das, and therefore it's going to require a new bracha rishon. Similar, even more so, a third case would be if he does a maisa that shows he's done with his eating session, like doing mayim achronim. He does mayim ashes mayim achronim. That is megalad das b'maisa that he is going to be finished with his eating session. He will require a new bracha rishona. So a hesach das bein b'maisa mayim achronim bein b'dibor havlan and nevarich, or even in one's das, like over here, as the shamish points, as the shamish says. Over here in Kuf Zayin Obeiz is going to be a Hesech Das in the Sudan, require a new Bracha Rishona. And this is how we pass in page 9 of our Mar Makomos, Simen Kuf Ayin Tes Sif Alf. And this is the first Nakuda that we wanted to bring down today about Hesech Das in the Sudan, Gomer Sudosa says Kuf Ayin Tes Alf. 
Gomer Sudasa Vinatul Yod of Maimachronim, Maisa, Ain Yacholech of Lolisto Saji of Arab Berkazamos, Vim Avarlan, Havlan Nuvarech, Havi Hesse Hadas, Vosser Lolisto Elinkin Mivarech, Alav Trilo. That's the Hesse Hadas, Bidibor. And adds the Mishnah Bruce, if cotton gimel, the final has a chadas as the Mishnah Bruce, if cotton gimel, perish ten lano kos levarich, ukishim levarichim lo kosim roim bo nevarich gankain dina hachidavi has a chadas, vichain imisiach daito behedya bilibo milishtos od, the acher kacharotza lishtos, gam kain sarich levarich mitchila ala mashka, if one is gomer belayb libo. In his machshava that he is done eating or drinking, he wants to then continue eating or drinking, he is required to make a new bracha rishona over here. Just this last case, just want to point out, Lemaisa, it doesn't as much apply nowadays according to Moreno of Rabbeinu of Nevensal, since even when we decide we're going to have only this drink and that piece of cake, generally many times we'll go ahead and take another piece and another piece, and therefore you really have to be machlit yourself to say that I'm really, really done. Okay, in order for it to be mamisha hesachadas. But the klal is definitely over here. Once one is mesiach das, bein in his das, bein bedibor, bein b'maisa, that ends his bracha rishon. You did mo- mo- notice over here in the machaber, though he does make this chilik between the maisa ma'imachronim and havlanu nevarch. If you just do it b'machshava, or you do it bedibor, that's going to end near to your suda, and therefore you go ahead and you just need a new bracha rishona. If you did a ma'isa of ma'im achronim, he says, then you have to mevarach berkas hamaza. Okay? Okay, he says over here, it's also la hafsik after ma'im achronim and benching, and therefore you would go after to go out and bench. But once again, this is the clown, by the way, the tour disagrees with that also. He says, even if you watch ma'im achronim, you would not have to go ahead and bench. You could go ahead and continue, just make a new bracha rishona. But that's the clown gadol over here. Is Hesse Hadas ends Bracha Rishona. That's what it does over here from these Gemaras, Paskin and Shochanarach. Let's move now to Bracha Achrona. The Mishnah An Min Meseches Brachos, Nun Aleph of Abayes, page 11 of our Marmakomos, says, Misha Achol Vishachach Velo Berach, Beisham Yom Yachzil Mekom, Yuvarach, this takes us last, to last man, Ubeisom Yuvarach Mekom Shinizgar. Okay, this is for this man though. Until when could he still make the bracha chrono? Ad kadei she is akel hamazon shibemeyaf. Until the food has digested in his system, until that point he can still make a bracha chrono. I mean, it's one cut short to another one. If he has to go back to the original place where he made the where he ate, it's going to take some time. Could he still make a bracha chrono? As long as it was not equal mazon, you could still go ahead and make a bracha chrono. What is the shear of Nisakel Hamazon? Tells us the Gemara Nafdun Gimel of at the bottom of the page, page 12 of our Marmakomos. Kama shear equal. What is this shear equal? Amr Rabbi Yochanan Kozman Sheno Raiv. Rish Lakosman Kozman Sheitzma Machmas Achilaso. We see in the Rif and in the Ram, page 13 of your Marmakomos. That we pass in Allah Lamaisa like Shitas Rabbi Yochanan. Says the Rif Beferish over here. It didn't get highlighted over here, but he says it Beferish. Kamash, your equal, Amr of Yochanan, Kol's man, Shino Roiv, Machmas Osu Achila. The Rif does not bring down Shitas Reish Lakish. Therefore, we pass in like Rabbi Yochanan clarified. What is Shnan equal? That is until you start to feel hungry from the Suda. You ate at one o'clock in the afternoon a meal. Until you start feeling hungry, whether it's 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 6 o'clock at night, you are still allowed to make a bracha chrono until you start to feel that hunger again. Points out Rabbeinu Yonah over here on the page on the top of the riff. Talmud Rabbeinu Yonah says, Avo ma'isa shehit chiliyoz roiv, ma'isha shehit mat chiliyoz roiv. Once you start to feel hunger, afo pisha lo nisakla dayin ligamre. Even though you don't have complete digestion. When we say it's digestion, it doesn't mean your food completely digests, because many hold that that's the six hour mark that we wait between Basar and Chalaf. But he says over here, it doesn't have to be Gamri. When you have trilis equal, which trilis equal over here, we're not talking about scientifically over here, because the equal process starts right away. 
of what's chilas equal, when you start to feel hungry again, that's how we define life. At that point, you lose your bracha achrona, and you are not allowed to make it up. As the Rishonim and the Achronim point out, it's one of those things, it's a sin that you cannot make up. Once you lost your bracha achrona, it's left the window, and you've lost out on it. Okay? But that is... Oh, now couple things over here. It's not only the Riffin Rabbeinu Yonah, the Rush on page 4 also paskins like Rabbi Yochanan. And explains the Lavush, the Chazanish is a little bit mistapik. What's the reason why this is how we define the end of Bracha Achrona? But very interesting, the Lavush says the following, page 2 of our extra Marmakamos. Says the Lavush, four lines down. If your original Achila is already misakel from your stomach, it's one of those sins that you cannot make up. The ain moel loa bracha, and it's not going to work anymore. The bracha is not going to be good. Da'ala sova because we're supposed to make a bracha krona. Ala sova when you feel satiated. Where do we know this? Since the Pasuk says, that's how the Amoraim already understood when you can still make a bracha korno, when there's still sviya. Once you start to end that satiation, you start to feel that hunger again, that is to signify you've lost out on that bracha korno. That's how the little bush explains as far as why this is the beginning of what we could call shas equal when you lose out on your bracha korno. The Archa Shulchan on page three of your extra marimakomos adds. Um, a, a couple of things. Number one, in Ozayini points out, sometimes it's very difficult to decide do I start to feel hungry, not to start to start to feel hungry. That's a hard thing to be magder in general. That's what he points out in Zayin. In, in Ozchas, he points out, you lefachot get 72 minutes. When I say lefachot, you see over here, that's where the minah, uh, there's a toast. Where people say that after a suda you only get 72 minutes. That's not correct. We'll soon see, perhaps for a snack, that's true. But for a real meal, you get until you start to feel hungry again. Now, it's true. It's sometimes hard to know exactly what it is. But generally, it's much more than 72 minutes. Arachal Shulchan points out, you lefachot get 72 minutes. But many times, if you know you feel, still feel satiated from that meal, you get two, three, four, five, six hours later on, you would still be allowed to make a bracha akron if you were satiated and you do not still feel hungry. And just points out, Aruch HaShulchan at the end, the yearly, the end of Oschas, Bichlala Dvarim Kishish Suffik What if you have a Suffik? You know you forgot to bench bracha akron, and you have a Suffik, is Shasikul, not Shasikul, you're starting, how many Hoi did I pass or not? He says, Im shok they equal, suffix she im adam shok they equal, im lav. So we pass when you're dealing with a bread suda and you had satiation over here, and therefore it's chiv de arais of berkas amazon, tsarich levarich berkas amazon. Ubeshari dvarim, where we hold it's only in a chiv de robonon. So he says, lo yevarich mi suffix. That's how the Aruch Shochan paskins the Lachla Maisa. This chiluk between a bread suda v'yachalta v'savata and midaraisa versus when it's not going to be midaraisa, whether you should go ahead in terms of suffix. Okay, so that is by bracha achrona. Perhaps we've already come to this conclusion, but the rush, page four of our Mar Makomos, spells it out explicitly that we see over here that bracha rishona and bracha achrona mechanically are mutually exclusive. They work totally different from each other. They do not come hand in hand together. They do they have different chloe. As the points out the rush, about 12 lines down, about seven lines to the end of the piece, he says, Alma Hesachadas Zokakul of Bracha Rishona. Hesachadas creates a new Chiyav of Bracha Rishona. The Ainu Bracha Rishona is Talion Hesachadas. He wrote to Lecho, Olisho Slavishik Vardi Stalko Bracha Rishona, Kashia Siach Daitu. Once you're Misiach Das, Beme Machshava, Beme Dibur, Beme Maisa, you ended that first eating session, that first Bracha Rishona, does not get dragged any longer, it ends. But Hesachadas does not have an effect on Brach Achrona. The I know you were eating, you were eating, eating, you had a Hesachadas, and then you decide to eat more, eat more, eat more, eat more. 
one bracha achrona at the end can cover both eating sessions. Just because you're a Messiah das does not mean that you have to make a bracha achrona. As we already saw from the Shulchan Aruch, Kevin, he says, have the Nubarich. You want to eat now? You just make a new bracha rishona. There's no nafkamina. If you make one birka samazan shte sidos, the Ainu, the Rosh is telling us what we learn over here that Hesachadas is mutually exclusive to Bracha Rishona. We've also learned that Shas equal, that's when your Bracha Achrona ends, is Shas equal. And therefore, we could understand very well that. The Shulchan Aruch has these in totally two different sections of the Shulchan Aruch. By the way, it's Meduik in the Rambam, also page 14. Also like the Rosh, that they're mutually exclusive. But you see over here, Bracha Rishona, Sechadach, Bracha Rishona. That's in Simen Kufa, in Tess, page 9 of our Marmakomos. But over here, Hesach, Shas, equal, by Bracha Achrona, they're not put together because they're two different things. That's page 18 of our Marmakomos, Simen Kuf. Pay Dalit. You have to go to Elkos Berkos Amazon for that. Over there, it brings down in the Shulchan Aruch, page 18 of Aramar Makomos, at Ema Sayachal Uvarich, until what point you can still make a bracha chrona, at she eats Akel Amazon Shibimeyim. The Kamas she Urikos man, she ain't no Machmas also Achila. Who had din by drinking, it points out, the Chinamalin and Achilas Peros, so she has Yayin, he made no Roiv, Lot Somme Vitai, we drank. You quenched your thirst. And now you start to feel thirsty again. Same thing as signifies shas equal by shti. Okay, but you see over here, shas equal, that is defines where it ends our bracha achrona with his man, right? I can still make a bracha achrona. Hesachadas, that is bracha rishona. Gevaldik, they seem to not cross paths, and that's why you don't see anything about hesachadas. Over here in the Shulchan Aruch and Simen Kuf Pei you don't see anything about Shas equal in Simen Kuf Ayin Tes earlier on because they are two different dinim that get two different halachas and therefore as we saw by the Rush, you can make one bracha achrona at two different eating sessions. However, this is all not like the Shita of the Magen Avraham. Comes the Magen Avraham, page 16 of our Mar Mekomos, and he says the following Chiddush. He's in Simen Kuf Pei Dalit by Shas Equal by Birka Samazon. And says the Magen Avram the following Chiddush. It is brought down in Mishnah Brusif Katan Yudzat. Says the Magen Avram towards the end, the second line from the end over here on the highlighted part on page 16 in Sif Katan Tess. He says, Nearly the Mishirotza Lif Dor Shnei Achilos O Shnei Shtios Bebracha Achas. He wants to have two different achilas, two different shtios, and have one bracha achrona at the end for both of them, which we already said is going to be okay. Visho beitayim kedeshi is akel, but shas equal passes by in between the first eating and the second eating session. So meaning he had one eating session, he ate it at eight. He had a hesach adas. Okay, he decides to eat more. I'll oh, make a bracha achrona at the end over there. He says visho beitayim kedeshi is akel, Says the Magen Avram, since Shas equal passed, it not only ruins my original Bracha Rishona in the first eating session, but that also stopped my Bracha Rishona. Okay, evening, even if he was not Mesiach Das from the first eating session, he knew he was going to have a second eating session. There was no Asach Das, there was no Havel Nuvarech, there was no ending of my Suda with the Bimach Shaba and Kamachomer, not Bimaisa. I just ate, I stopped, I was going to eat again, have one bracha achron at the end, but then shas equal pass, says the Magad Avra, not only ruins the fact that you lost your bracha achron on the first part, but if you want to continue eating a second eating session, you'd require a new bracha rishona. Says the Evan Ozer on this Magad Avra, page 17 of your Marmakomos, Udvarov Divrei Nevius. Not a compliment. From the Avina Ozer. Says the Avina Ozer, we're in the world. Does the Magan Avram get this? This does not make any sense based on what we said. Why should Shas equal and my Bracha Rishona? They're mutually exclusive. They have nothing to do with each other. And that's the point over here in the Avina Ozer who disagrees with the Magan Avram. And that's why Rabbi Kiva Eger also at the bottom of page 17 
quotes the Shuvah Sginas Vrodim, who also disagrees with the Magen Avram. And that's why, if you go back to the Mishtabra on page 19 of Aramar Makomo, Sif Katn Yudzayin, even though he quotes the Magen Avram, says the Mishtabra, he says, meaning after Shasikol passed, that's the Magen Avram, she yachse vorcha motzi, a filo yisech taito, a dain, even though there was no Esachadas, you need a new Bracha Rishona. Kevin Yisakal Amazin Hisid Gam Bracha Rishona. Aval Harbe Achronim Pligiyal. But many Achronim disagree with this Magen Avram, and as you see from the Lushan of the Magen Avram, Mishnah Bro, as I said many times. When he brings down the sheet and then he says, Aval or Achain or Amnam, he says, Aval Harbe Achronim. He is passing like the like this day. He is saying, Aval Harbe Achronim. 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 Pile playing this is just spelled out very, very beautifully for us to see. Clearly over here, when we come to the conclusion over here, is Bracha Rishona, is Taliyan Hasech Das. When I end my Hasech Das, that ends my Bracha Rishona. Shas equal, it ends the point where I can still make a Bracha Achrona, but does not affect Bracha Rishona, and Hasech Das does not affect Bracha Achrona. Gewalt. Add to this point, hopefully this is clear, directly from the source. So, okay, that's all right. Dayenu, if we just got that today, to understand this idea of Bracha Rishona, how mechanically Bracha Rishona and Bracha Achrona work, we've already accomplished a lot. But let's move on over here, closer to our Shiloh over here, the person who is going to be eating or drinking all night long, all day long, what's going to be with his Bracha Rishona, Bracha Achrona. Let's start back with the Rambam on page 14 of our Marma Kamos. Says the Rambam Beferish, Four lines down. Vim lo gomer belibo. Elodaito laxer velishtos olechol afilu pasakolayom kulo. If his das is to continue eating or drinking, he does not have a hasachadas. He is continuing eating or drinking all day long. Eino sarich levarich shniya. He does not have to make a new bracha rishona. That means he was eating one long suda. One long eating session from the beginning of the day to the end of the day. As long as there's no hasakha das, b'machshava, b'maisa, oh, b'dibor, there is no end to that bracha, and it can continue, it can continue with one bracha throughout the whole day. And therefore, comes out very barur that in terms of bracha rishon, someone who is staying up all night, or he's in his office drinking all day, or he's snacking throughout the day, Really, what comes out from this Rambam is one bracha rishona that will last as long as he's not mesiach das in between. He knows what he's going to be doing. Everything's going to be fine. The problem that we run into is bracha achrona. Bracha achrona is the more problematic thing over here because even though if he eats at at, uh, at eleven o'clock in the morning a snack and then I don't know. Three hours later, he knows he's going to have another snack later on. He snacks throughout the day. He's going to have another bag of chips at 3 o'clock and then another one at 6 o'clock. So it's true. He never was Mesiyach Das. His bracha Rishona could continue. But what about the bracha Achrona? He could lose out on the first bag and the second bag of potato chips that he ate without bracha Achrona. He could lose out on the revius of water that he drank at 9 in the morning even though he has another revius at 12 and another one at 5. It doesn't matter. He loses out on those things, the Chorot. Question is, at what point? So we know when someone has a suda, we see over here, you get shas equal means until you start to feel hungry again. But what happens when one only eats a snack or a drink where you're not necessarily satiated? One cup of water, you might still feel thirsty right away. One bag of chips, you might still hungry. It might hold you over. You're not necessarily satiated. How, what's going to be my barometer to tell me when I have, how long do I have to make the bracha achrona on the water or on the bag of chips without having to lose out on my bracha achrona? So, even though we saw for a suda, even if someone quenches his thirst until he starts to feel thirsty again, but what about a snack? Says the Mishnah back to page 19 of our Mar Mekomos, Simen Kuf Pei Dalit Sif Katun Chaf. He is bothered by our question. 
And he says, the everything the Shulchan Aruch is talking about, where he feels satiated me, alechem u meyaperos. Avlim achol me'at v'chefetz achol od. He eat a little bit. He is, something you have a snack, you're still feeling hungry. Okay, now I can make it till dinner, but I'm hungry right now. You don't have any more snack to eat more. So therefore you're hungry right away. How am I supposed to know until the point of not arrive? You're right right now. So therefore, how am I supposed to figure this out? Says the Chavetz Chaim Kevin Shetega Yelo Gankin Taiva Lo Yishlo Yelo Katfu Harbeach Ronim De Misharin Beze Ad Kedei Hiluch Arba Milin you want to know where 72 minutes comes from, as the Mr. Boy points out? Shushivim Ushtayim Minut? This is where it comes from. When someone has a snack, when someone has a snack, there the Mishnah Boy Paskins, you get 72 minutes. Because we can't figure out what's Tchilas Shas equal. Therefore, says the Mishnah Boy, you can rely on 72 minutes. Okay? So therefore, now it's move on. You have a snack, you get 72 minutes. Oh, but after that 72 minutes by a snack, you're going to lose out on that bracha rishona. Therefore, sorry, but no, you're going to lose out on the bracha achrona. Therefore, you're going to have a bag of chips at 11, and another one you're planning on having at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's not going to work. It's true. Bracha rishona would still go on. But you lost out on your bracha achrona. The first bag of potato chips didn't get a bracha achrona. You've lost out on bracha achrona. It's ma'avus lo It's something that you're never going to be able to correct. You don't want to lose out on bracha achronas. By the way, the Mishnah Bura is more makele than sure. He says you get 72 minutes. Says the Kafachayim, page 5, reader extra marmakomos. Says you only get a half an hour. Okay, Ashkenazim Lachora has what to rely on 72 minutes. Okay, it's still only 72 minutes. Svardim, by the way, the Kavachayim is the tossed by Asher Yatzar. I want to get into Asher Yatzar right now. So Ashkenaz have a lot longer to make Asher Yatzar for. Okay, it's connected to our sugi over here. You get until you feel the feeling of having to go to the bathroom again. It could be hours later, you could still say Asher Yatzar if you didn't say Asher Yatzar. Kavachayim, half an hour. Similarly over here, he says half an hour for a snack. Now that's by the case you're eating potato chips, having some fruit, granola bars. But what about if you're just drinking? What about a cup of coffee, a tea, or just water? How long does that last for? And this says the Mishnah Bro, we need another. We have to fly around Shulchan Aruch over here. Back to Simon Kuf Tzadi, page 20 of your Marmakamos, bottom of the page, Sif Katan Ches. Says over here, we'll see the Machaber of the Machaber says, Achar Shishos, a kosher Birka Samazam. After you drink your coast of Birka you bench on the coast, you make your bracha on your coast Birka Samazon, you varch bracha chasmein shalosh, you should make a bracha chasmein shalosh. Okay, but what if you want to drink more wine afterwards? Says the Mishnah Bura Vim Daitalish Tot Od, Lo Yavarach Achro, don't make the bracha achrona. Elavasav, Alachar Gmarsh Tiyasa, when you're done drinking the wine, you'll drink a bracha achrona over there. Vidavka Kishid Daitalish Tot Miyav, but that's only if you're planning on drinking another coast of wine right now. Di lav hachi yesh lachus shema yis akel. You have to worry that you're going to be shas equal and you're going to lose out on the bracha achron and the kosher birkas amazon. Di equal shal shtia einenu shir gadol kol kach because the shir of equal of shtia is not very long. That's where the Mishnah ends over here. He does not tell us what his kavana is that it's not very long. So how long do I have for shtia? Lechora, less than 72 minutes, because it sounds like he is saying this is even more or less than even a snack. So I did find the poskim. So we did, you have an extra bar in, uh, in, uh, in the Torah journal, Moriah. Moreen over Rabbeinu Rodevin so calling where Shomel Zaman is a famous piece of Shomel Zaman those who learned Hilchos Pesach began heard the Shirim in the Bekias they would heard the sheet of Shomel Zaman that you get seventy two minutes he's pointing out that even Lela Seder well passes seventy two minutes and many people's maggots take longer between Kos Rishon and Kos Shnia. Okay, I don't want to get into Lela Seder right now, but Shomel Zaman mentioned seventy two minutes over there. It's mash whether you get seventy two minutes. Moreen of Rabbeinu of Nevensaw points out 72 minutes is way too long for Shtia. Okay, we'll see what Rav Nevensaw adds to this in just a moment. 
But I did see in Sefer of his Osa Bracha, if you want a working shear over here, he quotes Rav Chaim Pinchas Scheinberg. You have it in page 8 of your extra Maramekomos. He says over there that you get a half hour. There's the half hour. Half hour for drink, 72 minutes for a snack, till you start to feel hungry when you have a meal. And just to point out the significance over here, says the Bir Alach, in Simen Kuf Tzadi, see Bayes, page 20 over here, look in the second paragraph. He says, Avalibi begamgei mezeh. Look at what he says here. Dehini hidim shahar beilo nisbat lebracha rishono. Once again, going back to say, if you wait a long time between different eatings, you don't have to worry about bracha rishono you didn't lose out on. Kevich lo yisiyach al kol karin daito. Mikol mokol man yomer lander rishay lasos kein. Who gives you permission to have a bag of chips at 10 o'clock and another one at 1 o'clock in the afternoon? Who gives you permission to go ahead and drink a cup of water at 9 a.m. and have a second cup of water at 12 a.m.? It's true that the bracha rishona works, but you've lost out on the ability to make a bracha achrona on the first cup. That which you're going to make a braid of fashos at 12 o'clock in the cup on the second cup of water or at 3 o'clock in the second bag of chips. Lo mahani klal. It is not going to help at all, is it? Kevin shikvar nisakal vahavi kamisha eno. It's already been absorbed in your system. It's been digested. It's like it's not there and you lost out on your bracha achrona just flushing out once again. A, that these are two different halachas, bracha rishona, bracha achrona, and two is this big deal. We do not want to lose out on a bracha achrona. On any food item, we always want to make sure everything we ate gets a bracha achrona when, when possible. Now, to add to this, comes the minchas yitzchak. It's also quoted, I believe, in the Seser Rezosa bracha also. You have it on page 10 of your extra marmakomos, and he points out even in a case where you might lose out on the bracha achrona, meaning you don't know when I'm going to have the next cup of water. Many times you're in the base medrash or at work and you have the water bottle, you drink the ruvius, you know you're going to have more, but you don't know if it's going to be 10 minutes later, 20 minutes later, or an hour later. Or you don't know if you're going to have the second bag of chips a half hour later, an hour later, or three hours later. In that case, since it's a suffix right now, you know, you wait till uh, you get, you're going to forget about it by then. You don't, you don't pay attention when you have the next cup of water. Right now, when I'm done with this drinking session, says the Minchas Yitzchak, he says, Okay, I feel like you have equal. Even if you have a suffix that Shas equal is going to pass, you should go ahead, he says, and make a bracha achrona. Okay, because if not, he said, he shot me called him. So to add on to what we're saying over here, when you're done with a cup of water, or a cup of coffee, or a bag of potato chips, or an apple, and you know you're planning on having more, but you don't know when, and maybe Shasiko is going to pass by, go ahead and make a bracha chrona. We should know already that's not a, called a bracha shein tzricha because you're saving yourself from losing out on a bracha. That's not a bracha shein tzricha. That's a bracha tzricha. Says the Beferish over here in the Minchas Yitzchak, also Paskin and Sefer, Vizosa bracha. So to that, add to our case over here, the guys in the base medrash or at work or whatever other the case is, Lel, Lel Shavuos where he's going to be eating or drinking throughout the night, if you're going to be eating, where you're going to go downstairs and make another cup of coffee right away. So great. Shas equal is not going to pass by. But once you even have a suffix, Shas equal is going to pass by. As they tell the Talmino all the time, you have a suffix you're not going to drink for the next half hour. Make a bracha achrona. Okay? Great. Add on one more level, says Moraine of Rabbeinu Rav Nevensal, page 20 of our Marmakomos, at the bottom of the page. Very mistaber. We'll add another case in. The guy who's playing ball outside or is at the gym exercising. And throughout the exercise, you take a cup of water now, and then you take a water later. Or in games of ball, you're going to take a cup of water. Okay? Says Moreno of Rabbeinu of Nevin, so I'll tell you honestly. Okay? Hashem, a little exercise. Sometimes I play ball. Okay? I was once playing ball. I had some tummy to chachamim there. And he saw me after the game drink a cup of water and make a brach achrona. He turned to me and says, what are you doing? Why are you making a bracha achrona? Look, how are you making a bracha achrona? At the end of the game? Okay, whenever the game is over. 
So I told him this this shot over here. If you wait to make the bracha achron, you're gonna lose out of your uh, you're gonna lose out of the bracha achron. Because says Moreno Rabbein Rav Nevinsal, he says and this is very mistabber. Dimasli yeshlochus b'miyuchad b'kaitz. If you're out in the hot sun or you're going on a tiul, it's hot outside. Sheor sheor equal shall steal who katsar meod is very very short. She pa'amim she acher kama dakot. You play in 85 degree weather outside or even in a gym sometimes. You drink after one game. Okay, you start to play and run again. You're going to feel thirsty again right away. You might have quenched your thirst after game number one. Once you start to feel thirsty again, where it's hot outside, you're in a duel, you're playing ball, exercising. You lost on your bracha chrona, says the Moreno of Rabbi of Nevin saw. Therefore, you have to make a bracha chrona in order not to lose out over here. Yes, it sounds like a big chiddish. But this is what Moraine Rabbi Ronavitzel says, and this is, it seems to be a double poshet, okay? Because you're going to start to feel thirsty. Thirsty again? Kalvachomer, if perhaps a half hour is going to pass by, or even a something half hour is going to pass by, look, Kuli Alma, look how you're going to have to make a bracha achron, okay? Now, that's in terms of bracha achron. We've come to the conclusion at this point of the shear that any time that you've had a snack and you're even chaushish, you might lose out on shas equal and you lose out therefore on your bracha achrona in order not to do that, make a bracha achrona right away. But how does this or does this affect now the bracha rishona in the hemshech when I want the second cup of coffee? or more water after the bracha achrona, or the second bag of chips, or the second apple in these cases, do I now require a new bracha rishona? I would say at first glance, l'chora, we should say, yes. Why? Because now I did a maisa of hesachadas. I did a maisa of making a bracha achrona, which is a hesachadas. And where do we have a raya to this? The greatest right to this is my simchol yom for those who bench on a coast. We see in Simen Kuf Tzadi, page 20 of our Mar Makomos, says the Mechaber Simen Kuf Tzadi Sif Aleph. Achar Shesiyam Birkasos Mazon Mivarich Bereper Agafen. Anyone who has ever benched on a coast, except if it's Shalosh Shudas for other reasons, you make a Bereper Agafen on that coast right after Birkasos Mazon. L'chara, why? I know I'm going to having this when I bench. I know I'm going to be having this coast Birka Samazon. Nevertheless, we hold Birka Samazon as a siluk. It's an automatic hesachadas, and therefore I have to make a new bracha rishona. And therefore, once I make a bracha achrona, new bracha rishona, that's what comes out from the Shochan Arach Simen Kuf Tzadi Sif Aleph. However, comes the Magen Avram and seemingly disagrees with this. Says the Mogan Avram, page 22 of our Mar Makomo, Simon Kuf Tzadi, same Simon. Os Gimel says over here, Os Gimel, third line down. Venerally, says the following case, Dim To Berech Acharov, you make a mistake, you forgot you're still eating, and you make a Brach Achrona. Ain't Sarch Levarech Betchila. If I want to continue afterwards, I don't have to make a new Brach Achrona. Okay, the hind of the case is he benches on a coast and he knows he wants more wine afterwards, but he by accident he makes a, he, just, he normally makes a main shellish right after the coast of Birkas Amazon, and therefore that's what he did. Wait, whoops, I meant to drink more, says the monk in Avram. He goes ahead and continues drinking without a bracha. Came and she had died to leash down because his das is really to continue drinking. That's the das of the Magen Avram over here. And once again, the Achronim pick on the Magen Avram. The Magen Avram is not having a good day today. Okay, the Achronim disagree with the Magen Avram. Why? As the Machza Shekel asks on the Magen Avram. He doesn't really disagree with the Magen Avram, but he asks the Kasha, what about Kuf Tzadi Sif Aleph? When you bench, he knows he's going to have a Berka, Kos Berka Samazon. And nevertheless, he is going to make a Bracha Rishona, says the Machza Sif Shekel. Page 23 of the Mar, uh, Mar Mekomos. He says, Why is this any worse than Birkos Birkos which is going to cause a sea look? Answers the Magimach the Shekel. Perhaps he could say, Lulai the Ta'a, shiny. Maybe in the Magad Abram's case where he did a bit Ta'us, that's less of a sea look. 
when he does it on purpose, like Birkas, well, he knows that this is going to happen, that's not, that's going to cause a hefzik. But if he just does a bit he made a bracha akron a bit talos, that's different, that's much lighter, that's not really considered a real hesech hadas. But the pashas, the mug and avrami, doesn't make this chilak necessarily. That's not necessarily true. And even if that's the chilak in the mug and avram, many achronim, once again, just disagree completely with the mug and avram. The mug and Mordechai over here, page 24 of the Mar Mekomos, four lines down, he says, he quotes the mug and avram, he says, V'lo yadana eich kotav arauzal kokach b'pshitas. How could the mug and avram say something so, with such, 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 such confidence over here? B'lishum raya, without any raya to what he's saying, Dafka, there's a raya against him. And my heart tells me strongly against this psak over here. And therefore, the Mamar Mordechai disagrees with them. Other Achronim disagree with the, with, with the Maganav. The Beralacha, back to page 20, brings this all down. He quotes the Magen Avram. He quotes the Machsa Shekel, the bottom of page 20. Dear Rasa Yavarach Bracha Achas Main Shalosh. He's been Daito Lishtot Od, Lo Yavarach Acharav Elevasov. He brings then the Magen Avram, the Kata Magen Avram, the To, Berech, the Chule, the Chule. And then he says, though, the Ayim Bechadushi Rebbe Kivager, Bashum Chuvas Kiryas Melech Rav. But then he makes a different chilek. It's only when he makes a ta in the halach. The chash of the tzarech levarik brach achron. I'll be sure it's only shot out. I will be shachach in the case where he was shachach. Sheish lechal od yevor levarik brach achron. Tzarech levarik al mashi yochal. Only if it's a ta b'din. And then he brings down the big day yesha. Umamar Mordechai. Chalkin al magen Avram vidaitem de brach achrona. Who silik gomer bechal gavnei a brach achrona is an automatic silik just like by birkas amazon is by the coastal coastal birkas amazon. V'chei mitzadi binar shalom valkein lemaisa tzarech ian what to do lemais. So we see over here, and most of these things you require brach achrona in order that you don't lose out on shas equal. What about a new bracha rishona? That's this Gansa Balagan over here in the postgim. And therefore comes Ravavadya, page 26 of Armar Makomos, the last page of Armar Makomos. And therefore he paskins Allah Maisa the foul. He brings down the Vrinshita, a very interesting chuva over here if you go through it. And he's talking about this case of the Lel Shwis, where he's drinking many coasts of coffee, many coasts of tea. And he comes out over here, if you look in the end of 26, in the, in the yellow highlighted part, second paragraph. He says, He's afraid he's going to lose out on Shas equal. He's going to lose out on his Brach HaKrona. Mamish, our case that we've been talking about. Like we concluded, you should make the bracha achrona right now on the first achila. The achar kach ein sarich levarich lifnei b'perushiyochal. When he wants to come back to the fruit, or for the cup of coffee, or for the water, you would not need a new bracha rishona. Kim shei daik lecha od mehem v'rakim yochal od shir yevarich bracha achrona. Okay, ulafi zeh says Ravad. Gam kan in their case of Lel Shavuos or a shear with many cups of cough. A feel you varic brach achorn al perish of wu bitchila, michashash pen yisha shear equal bain tayim, kshiavo o le fun of peris achakach, lo yachzer le varic brach a rishona, don't go back and make a brach a shona, ukiyotsev is a cut of a mug and avrom, and he brings down our mug and avrom over here at the Ainu, le fachot because of chashash. Suffolk brachos, Rav Avadia is passing. Yes to bracha achrona. No to bracha rishona. As he brings down, there's chokim of the mother. Magen Avram, he says, Mikol makom, kaim alan, suffolk, brachos, the hackle, Rav Avadia, lishitasu, in so many places. When there is a suffolk in Val, we're always going to say, suffolk, brachos, the hackle, and therefore we have clear halacha lamaitz. In all these cases, for Svardim, go ahead. Make a bracha akron anytime you have a chashash, your equal is going to pass. In terms of a new bracha rishona, you would not make a new bracha rishona. So you're exercising, playing ball. You'll make a bracha akron between every game or between every exercise. 
but you would only make one bracha rishona that's going to continue throughout until you had a hesecha das. I think that's already a major twist and maybe what we would have thought from the beginning. Okay, it's true. The Raman says one bracha rishona lasts throughout the day. But we have a problem with bracha achrona as we see over here. What about Ashkenazim? Comes the Minchas Yitzchak. And he, once again, he's talking about the same case. We we'll start with page 9. Says the Minchas Yitzchak over here. And he brings down a machlokis in the post. He says about seven lines on the top of the page. He says, He says, See, later on he's talking about bracha achrona and bracha rishona and every single coast to coast. On the maskos, kamas, sikana, mori, the kadosh, hal gorsha, al pandri, kote she'en levarich rak bracha achas. Only one bracha over here. And then he goes through that many are knowing like that. But then Lamaisa, the Minchas Yitzchak, you turn to page 11 of the extra bar Makomos in his Maskan over here. He says, Ma'amad the awesome and iskele And he basically brings our whole sugya down and he sums it all up over here. The aft bin no gale bracha rishona yesh lomar de echidi a daito le kachlo yisi a daito ubeloshinu imako mafi me yashir eko bain time ain't sorry le bracha rishona kinis galel even though in terms of bracha rishona you should be fine it should last through the whole the whole night mikol makom ain't lino kain don't do this le chatchila kidei shelo la hasid at the bracha chronal masha shasa kodem. You should not make a bracha, not lose, lose out on the bracha rachona that you said before. And then he brings down the beer alacho, who also seems to say like this. Is. And then he says at the end, Ubezet tivna ledina, dehechi diyesh chashash ikol. Once again, he says, oh, you know, chashash ikol. Bein kos to kos, mi anachu levarich bracha rishona ushnia al kol kos to kos. You need to make a bracha achrona. Therefore, you need to make a bracha rishona. Who was that? Say we started with imlo bekviya suda. Unless it's mamish kviya suda, which your suda could then last and last and last and continue eating, as the Mishnah Bros says in another place. Therefore, Allah Maisa, what comes out of here, the Minchas Yitzchak, and this is what Moreno Rabbeinu Ram Nevin so also told me, Allah Maisa, that we don't go like the Mug and Avra, more like the Mamre Mordechai over here. Bracha achrona is required, required not to lose out on your bracha achrona. Because of shas equal, once you make a bracha achrona, that's an automatic siluk. Hesach adas to your bracha rishona. And a new bracha rishona is going to be required. And this is what I told that time with Chacham. We were playing ball that one day. And I told him this then over here. He said, no way, no way, no way. Lamaise came back to me a couple of weeks later. And he said, I looked into the din. I spoke to cover a couple of big poskim, and they agreed with you, Allah Chalamaisa. From that on, we joke every time he'll make the bracha achrona in between the game, bracha rishona, the beginning of the next game, in order to get into this din over here, Allah Chalamaisa. Yes, this might be earth shattering, maybe big chidushim for those who are listening today to our shir. But look at the marmatomus over here, everything is here sourced. In the Shulchan Aruch, Mishnah post him over here, what to do, Allah Lomaisa, and therefore that's what we're going to have, Lel Shavuos, whether it's going to be Lel Shavuos, or you're just at your makom drinking a lot of water, or in your office drinking a water, a coffee, whatever it might be, having a snack throughout the day, or exercising in the gym, or playing ball outside, whatever it is, this is what comes out. So we've gotten to a major halach lemaisa today in terms of hasachatas by bracha rishona, shas equal by bracha achron. We talked about tangentially other things like asher yatsar. And we came to the conclusion today that any time you have a suffix, you lose out on your bracha achrona because of shas equal. It's a snack or it's a drink, which is a short period of time. Go ahead and make a bracha achrona in terms of making a new bracha rishona. The chora, the sardim, who follow, it's not really a masar, machlok, it's mechabro mover. The way the Ravavadya Paskins, if you follow the response, yes, the Bracha Achrona, 
No to bracha rishona. If you pass and follow the psakim over here of the Ashkenazic post game over here, the Minchas Yitzchak, Maureen of Rabbeinu of Nevin Saul, yes to bracha achrona, yes to a new bracha rishona also. And that concludes our shir for today. Ad Khan for today. Cult.